Sunday morning, still in our planning week. We are heading in to Nick's our clinical school because we are going to go through the Oscars. Two reasons why. Number one is because looking at the Oscars they have there will hopefully give me some ideas about topics that I might have missed in my planning list. Number two is that then I can photocopy some and have them ready when I do each topic area when I get to it. I say we because Aaron has said that he wants to come and help. Isn't that so, so nice? So we're just going to go in now and go through one or a few of those big binder folders full of practice Oskies. Again, they're not officially Oskies from our school or anything, they're just Oskies that students over time have put together that they found maybe online or something like that. And some that students have just made up themselves. We do have an online database on Google Drive. There's a folder called Oski Stop that we share amongst all the med students. But um, I've basically gone through them and picked out the ones that I think are good. I did that last year for a fourth year study. So this year I'm gonna have a look through the folders at uni and see if they have anything different to Sound okay? So, tell me about what's happened. I don't really remember. 
I was standing there serving a customer and the next thing I'm looking up on Google is standing there and Emma was there and she said I was having a seizure. Tell me a bit more. So you had a bit of a warning that it was coming on. You said that you felt a bit hot before it all happened. Did you notice anything else different? Anything else odd as in odd smell, sounds, taste no. in your mouth. You had just stood up from sitting. I feel like you're hungry, maybe you skipped a lunch break. Any weakness in your arms or legs? No. Slurring of your speech. Not that I know. Your heart beating faster out of time. Any shortness of breath? No. No. Right before the fall, was there anything that was frightening or particularly emotional to you? Have you had anything like this in the past? No. Been previously well. No recent sickness, gastro, anything that's made you dehydrated. Emma, would you guys tell me a bit more about the fall? Would you like was it a trip or more of a collapse? Weakness in movement? Moving her limbs around? Oh, stiffen up? Yes. We did both. Like, there was times where she was stiff and times where she was like... Did you come to quite quickly or do you think there was a long period of time that you didn't mm -hmm. remember? It took them about five minutes to wake me. Any muscle aches, pains afterwards? No, not really. Do you have any other medical conditions? Uh, diabetes, high blood pressure, problems with your heart and lungs, you don't get migraines. Have you ever been in the hospital for any reason? No. Take any medication? Any allergies? No. Take anything else over the counter or herbal? Do you drink much alcohol? Can I ask Sally, had you been drinking much in particular before this fall from the days before? Since the weekend. Smoke at all? Any illicit drugs? And how's home? Isn't my broken is good. Yep. Do you enjoy your work? Yeah, yep. yes. <laughs> and any family history of any conditions? Um, my uncle had epilepsy, but nothing else. Okay. Strokes, problems with the heart. Any diabetes? Nope. Well, so I'd like to examine you now, so I'll speak to you at the exam. I'll do a general inspection, looking for any signs of injuries, alcohol abuse, general signs of being unwell or in distress, vital signs, particularly looking for low blood pressure, a postural drop. I'll do a quick neuro exam, screening for a stroke. I'll do a cardiovascular exam, then a pulse, listening to the heart, the carotids. In terms of investigations, I'd like to do a bedside blood sugar level, a urinalysis, the bloods I'd like to do a full blood count, UEC, liver function test, CRP. We could do a venous blood gas as well, or a CK to look for hyperperfusion. I'd like to do, importantly, an EEG, might give us some clues toward epilepsy, plus minus an MRI. We could consider as well things like carotid dopplers if we're worried about TIA. In terms of management, if this is epilepsy, she'll need some counselling for her first seizure in terms of driving limitations. After her first seizure, we, we can't drive for six months. I refer her on to the epilepsy clinic and we write a letter to her GP, consult my senior, give us some information. Done. Question one What is the likely diagnosis? A seizure. Generalised time of chronic seizure, secondary to tonight's sleep deprivation and drug or alcohol withdrawal. I should have asked you more about alcohol. Just said 5 to 10 standard drinks per weekend. <laughs> she was actually studying at night as well. We didn't really get to know about problems with the seizure and that's how it She was sleep deprived because she'd been studying and now working. Once you get a seizure history, you should probably ask for seizure triggers, which mainly are. Withdrawal stress, I think. Stress is good. And medication. Same because it's stressful. I guess they ask how things at home. Yeah, studying hard though. Yeah. It depends how generous the Yeah, the person is. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, I just think they're like he's at home is like, oh my boyfriend's good. I'm like, that's good. I guess in this case, instead of going in a roundabout way like that, I would just directly ask if there's some stress in your life, are uh, you having trouble sleeping? Yeah, things we'll like that. Just bring as up. opposed to going through a social history. Yeah, okay. Sally asked you if there's anything she can't do now, she's had a seizure. Drive for three months. So Six months now. Being alone with water slash adventure sports. Mm, and also being at heights you avoid until you've got that clear diagnosis. Cool. It is... It is Sunday morning of my mid-sense break. So what's the next day? of June, we're just going out to a coffee shop for our Sunday morning, no one is, and I'm really excited about it. <laughs> we missed last weekend because we had trouble weekend, so this weekend we are going out. I brought a bunch of study to do, obviously. This morning I'm working on peds, 10 o'clock now because we had a cruisy morning and then we did some examinations, so I practiced the eye and the ear and the cerebellar exam, which I haven't done since oh, excuse, last year, so it took me a little bit of time to relearn that little sequence and remember why we do each of the things we do. Then this morning I'm starting my first bit of pain study for the year, so just revising some of the common topics that we did last year. Notably, first up, I want to do failure to thrive and 
I'm trying to just do the topics that I like at the moment. Um, the ones that I'm interested in, leave the ones that I'm not so interested in at the moment. Because I really just want to make the study as pleasant as possible. Particularly because it's the holidays and I haven't actually had a proper holiday yet this year since we started in January. So yeah, I'm trying to not really push myself too hard but trying to be a little bit productive at the same time. It is eight weeks on Tuesday and two of my off years. So mid-semester breaks throughout the year so this is our second one week break but for me as you guys know this is actually my first break since since January since we started in January so my exams are in August that's two months away eight weeks away so I'm kind of doing a bit of a negotiation in the sense that it's probably time to study pretty hard but I'm also acknowledging that I haven't had a break yet and we all need to have a break. Basically for me that means studying in a really relaxed way where I'm basically finding a medium between being productive but still being really comfortable and having everything pleasant. And I study the topics that I'm interested in and I don't stick to a strict schedule. It's been really nice so far. Today is Monday, it's actually a public holiday so I still got my Aaron with me. I'm just really trying to use this break to be a bit smart about it, not tire myself out for the next eight weeks that I really want to start to get on the ball with. I did most of the hard work last year. In fourth year I've compiled most of the information I need in for most of the OSCE topics into my documents, sort of got them all set up. I just need to remind myself of how it all goes. So in that sense, this year is a little bit easier than last year and in that way I can afford to not be as strict as I was last year. I use my calendar to plan out my study so I'll show you guys that maybe when we get home I'll do a bit of a screenshot and maybe a voiceover to explain it a bit just so you guys can get an idea of what I'm doing for my OSCE study. The rough setup is wake up in the morning and practice two to three examinations, clinical examinations, then go off to cafes, go to another cafe, and then go home and probably don't study much for the rest of the night, to be honest. Ideally, I'd be practicing OSCEs one or two at the end of the day, but I haven't really felt like it for the week and I thought that was fine. So I'll do that probably tonight and maybe for the rest of the week. We'll see how I feel. <laughs> All in preparation for SWAT back and that's the week that we have off before our actual exam. And in that time I'll be very strict and push myself a bit harder. But I want to make sure that I'm in a good place for that week coming up. So I don't want to push myself now, I need to have a break. And this morning was a little bit different. We went to gym this morning, we did our squats and deadlifts. And my pop's actually in hospital at the moment. So we went in and saw him, but he's okay. He's okay. And this morning I was studying indications for antibiotics. It's a common OSCE. Mum comes in with child who's a bit sick. Do you give them antibiotics or not? Then I started to read a little bit about uh, dementia and problems in elderly patients and also things like advanced care directives and goals of care and consent and what that all officially means. We're just going for a one minute. 